Hello and welcome back to Graveyard Keeper. And before we go into what to do next, and I sort of maybe remembering what I was planning to do, what I needed to do, I think I needed to wait. Yes, I think that was the case where I needed to wait to go to the astrologer, astrologer a week later. I think that's what it was. But before uh, we go any further uh, with our plans for this episode, uh, as you might have noticed the last week previous week there was less episodes than there technically should be now the reason for that I did post um, uh, the explanation in text uh, on my channel on the discussion tab but yeah if you missed it what it what's happened is the weather and temperature has been very unstable and it has been jumping up and down from something like minus 10 degrees to plus five and it's not like oh over a couple of days no during the day and it has gone basically from minus 10 up to like five ish and then back uh, and that's basically midday it's five degrees and then one sun is going down and it's starting to become dark oh it goes back down to minus 10 again in the same day so yeah there you have the reason why and what's hap what happens to me at least is i get headaches uh, my body doesn't like when there's quick um temperature and weather changes so i very easily get a headache and i feel ill even so i've been extremely tired for like a week a week and a half because of my headaches so that's the reason why it hasn't been as much as it technically should have been last week however I will not ramble much longer what we need to wait for the astrologer to come back right that's what we need to do other than that i think it's trying to get a dark heart and see if we can get basically anything else done maybe talk to the shepherd see if we can get the legendary dagger and ancient lock picks maybe yeah so basically see if we can squeeze in anything while we wait so yeah but, but there you have the reason why it wasn't why I haven't made as much as I probably should have done the previous, uh, the last week because <clears throat> yeah um, it has been very tiresome in her uh, I've been very very tired 
Plus, I've had a bunch of other stuff I needed to do, so... Yeah. It's like... For some reason, even though you're sick, even though you're, like, tired because... And legitimately, like, weighed out. Worn out, like... Uh, you still have to, like, pay rent and do those kind of stuff. Which is... Mind-boggling and, and... Weird. Or maybe not. But yeah, it has been... It has been a week. For me... If you... Like, it's... It, I can understand because... I don't think it's that common to be as sensitive as I am to weather and temperature shifts. So, most times I, when I talk about it with people, they have no way of comparing, like, understanding or, or like, get a sort of comparison with something else or like how what's the word tiresome is probably a good word uh, I think that's the one I was thinking about, maybe? Whatever. You know what I mean. Um, hopefully. Uh, where are we going? I think we should go to the refugee camp. Okay, this is actually maxed out. Let's see if we can... do this we can't actually make any more beds now oh. so uh, let's do the storehouse too there we go that should allow us to store more yeah well, let's take the peat I think the wooden sticks is no longer needed uh, let's take a look over here just to make sure yeah okay I don't need the flitch I actually just need the wooden planks now let's take the stone let's take the flitch and I don't know if I need the silk basically any everything material wise without taking the nails there we go let's teleport back home uh, let's shove all of this away Do need 12 planks. There we go.
There we go. We have the planks. I should put the peat away and I do need to make oh my god how, how much was it I, I do need to make um, some quality fertilizer silver star quality fertilizer and I need how much do I need actually do I need 40 of them yeah because I think I need I actually need 12 per so to upgrade all of it and I think I also need no I, I need the gold one for or do I I don't think I do whatever let's pick up not all the peat but 40 of them oh i i really i i really look forward to uh, and while i love the game i'm actually going to look forward to being done with this series absolutely love the game it has been a blast really but i'm actually looking forward to being done with this so that i can start doing other series because there there is a game which is sort of like xcom uh like in how the strategy works it's that kind of turn-based game but i find the story and the world in general to be a lot more intriguing and interesting plus the game runs a lot better as well it's a lot less buggy actually um but yeah so that is something I that that is actually something I want to start doing. I, I want to start a series with that, but I actually can't because I have too many series going. And I don't want to have too much ongoing. Uh, this camp is beginning to feel more and more like home, thanks to your efforts. Of course. Thank you, my friend, for the warehouse and the campfire. No problem. It wasn't too difficult. As far as I know, many others are already prepared to join us. Would you be so kind as to raise one more tent? And I also ask you to build a workbench for me. I've thought up some designs, and I can't wait to see if they work in practice. Perhaps the results of my research will be useful not only to us, but to you as well. A tent and a workbench. Easy. Okay. So we need to make one more tent and a workbench. But yeah. I I really looking forward to getting done with um I'm actually looking forward to being done with um uh graveyard keeper and Stardew Valley. 
so but yeah first we are going to need to actually like play the game until uh, completion and i have played the that game which i'm talking about which i don't really want to say which it is since i'm not super sure if i'm going to do a series on it i am playing it on my own sort of because i can't wait and also with like i'm checking it to see okay how long is it going to be can i make like a can i actually make a, re a recording and have it to be sensible both in length and um, actual content that is um, seen and i think it is but i'm it might be that it takes a bit too long and the thing is i don't like cutting out um any like footage because the the issue with that and i've talked about this before is if you especially games some games are fine but yeah i i feel like many times when you see someone edit a game they edit what they call quote-unquote boring parts of the game which can be as much as like 75 percent of the gameplay depending on the game and when basically from one like jump cut to like they can do a jump cut and all of a sudden they have like ginormous stockpile of resources whereas the scene before they had a shortage of course it's all a how, like how you actually do it but yeah I, I feel like many times when people like edit gameplay it's not well done And I, I do have, I actually have um, very few channels that I watch regularly or semi-regularly that is actually content that is edited because I don't find gameplay to be enjoyable when stuff is cut out now i'm probably alone in that but that is the philosophy i have that if you cut something out it is going to be that fluff that unnecessary stuff where it's technically not like for example if you're away taking a breather for like five minutes or you're sitting there you're staring at something for a while then yeah sure cut it away but if i'm actually like going through something and talking through like why i'm picking one over the other for example or if i'm trying to figure that kind of stuff out i've at least i as a viewer would like to see that for example 
how did you come to that conclusion that this one is better than this one for example i find that really fun and enjoyable to watch but i do know i'm sort of in a minority when it comes to that and it's a very niche kind of thing okay so we have upgraded this um we only have those two i think i'm going to keep them as is actually yeah so i wonder i'm not sure hmm i think i might huh. yeah I i'm not sure i'm actually not sure what to whatever um uh, we are getting closer and closer to what i'm going to do is completely messed that up and i'm going to have to walk to the town instead but okay uh because i want to go and pick this up like we have enough money i don't think money is an issue no money is not an issue money is really not an issue um yeah and there's still a ton of red wine just around okay so question is What do we do now? I could go back and sleep. That would be good. Don't think I need the feathers. It's a bit annoying that you have to go to specific parts in town to actually get milk and eggs. And that is if I remember correctly, the only ways to actually get it. But eh, eh, it's fine. It's not as bad as it could be. That was a lot of milk, which is nice. Uh, yeah, let's talk to you. Ask for help with the spirit. I need some help. It's related to the vampire queen you told me about. And has evil already drawn so close? I see. Rose! Rose! <laughs> my sweet chipmunk, what happened? Time for battle, my love. My final battle, perhaps. Prepare my equipment and pray for me. Wait, you seem to... Oh dear, does it mean you'll be late for dinner? <laughs> it means I may fall in battle. Today's enemy is greater by far than any I've faced before. Oh no, don't leave me. What will I do all alone? And what will the neighbors say? <laughs> it is my holy duty, my love. Let's go, Keeper. Let's die like heroes. No, let's not. Stay behind me. She could strike at any moment. Listen, I'll explain to you a third time. He's just a harmless ghost. And we just need to convince him to help. True, true evil often comes in harmless forms and loves to divert your attention. 
How many people are visiting me these days? Even though I don't desire visitors at all. Look here, Shepard is a one-legged guy. Can you trust us now? It depends on how he has lost his leg. Well, I and several other brave guys from our order were hunting two spirits. Hunting spirits. He's joking, forget it. His leg along with his hand and his eye were taken by an own la own unknown lady. What do you... So he totally understands your absent but painful sufferings. Now help us. Tell me everything you know about the woman who took your leg. She was very proud and overbearing. Her voice was like thunder. She used archaic words. I haven't heard living people talk like that for hundreds of years. And she said that I can always get my leg back from a place called Mystic Quagmire. Please recover my leg from that place. I beg you. Dot dot dot. Though, as I've said before, I really don't care. I don't know where this mystic quagmire is, but I've heard about it. About 25 years ago, a famous university scientist, uh, Marquis Theodore Sr., found a book there. Could that be the father of Mar Marquis Theodore Jr.? Maybe. <laughs> there was an evil book full of dark magic. They called it Necrono... Necronomicon. Don't I have that already? The Marquis studied it in secret and eventually the book drove him and his wife crazy. I was in Execution Square the day that the Inquisitors brought them to the fire. They roared like wild animals, tried to bite the captors and shouted things about the ancient curse. Jeez. Dot dot dot. My intuition tells me there's no vampire queen here. Therefore, she must be on another floor. Sad story, but it contained a clue. Marquis Theodoro might know where this quagmire is. Or I could ask Clotho. She's been living in the swamps for many years. Okay. So we have a, a branch here, basically, where we can ask one or the other. Or we might have to ask both of them. We'll see. We will see. The episode is almost over. And I think we should sleep. So, next episode, we should be able to talk to the astrologer. And that should mean that we can progress with the quest line. Now, I did get a body. Now, I don't really care about the quality of it, so... Should it really matter that much? Let's remove the heart. Just because, why not? Let's put it back, because... We can. Let's go and burn it. Um, I'm not sure exactly what 
what to do or expect, to be honest. A jug of milk. Do we have space? Um, not really. And yeah, it's actually the eggs that is the bottleneck, technically. And let's go and put away. the blood and whatever else we can put away and then sleep and then start end episode and start the next one it should mean that don't think i need that um yeah so I should have the time sort of spot on for the next episode. So there we go. And we are drawing ever closer towards whatever end we might find. And yeah, I'm not sure exactly how like exact I'm going to be when it comes to getting every single quest I'm going to try but if if it seems like okay we're going to have like five episodes just to finish this quest line and then another five for the next one I might just call it there and say basically open up the wiki and getting all the information for the quest lines but not actually doing them because it would take too much time um unnecessary amount of time and i don't think it would be fun to watch even though it's a quote unquote a walkthrough a full complete walkthrough I think you can understand that at this point we're getting up to triple digits in episode numbers and having just episode after episode just to finish every single bit of questline I don't think that's worth it but I will try but yeah no promise that every single quest line from all the dlcs are going to be shown i'm going to try as i said but no promises however we will end it here and uh, i think i talked about liking the video at the start i think i did anyway if i didn't i will do it again like the video it would be awesome but anyway if you don't it's uh, it's okay um and yeah thanks for watching goodbye and i hope i'll see you in the next one